Hi there everyone, welcome back to your daily dose at home with the Calgary Zoo. My name is Jen and I'm a proud member of the education team here and today we're talking about some of my favorite animals, cats. You might see uh, Freya or Odin walking around behind me there. Full disclosure, I have a lot of favorite animals. If I had to pick one, it would be cougars. Now hopefully you learned a lot about cougars in our daily dose. Today I want you to time travel back with me. Let's go back about 40,000 years ago, somewhere near where Medicine Hat is now. And uh, I want you to picture the plains or the prairies. There'd be herds of horse and camel and bison and stalking them from the grass would be something like this. This is the skull of Smilodon fatalis. Now, if you look at the etymology or the, uh, the meaning of, of that name, Smilodon in Greek, Smila is knife and Don is tooth in Latin. So this, these are knife tooth. This is your quintessential saber tooth cat. Now, other than being a cat, they are not at all tigers. So often people call them saber tooth tigers. Just put that out of your mind. These are saber tooth cats. They're cats like tigers, but they're not, a, they're not related to tigers. So in terms of size, Smilodon was shorter than today's lion, um, a lot bigger than a cougar, but and it would have been a lot heavier than both of them. So they had a shorter body than, than lions today. They had a short tail uh, and they would have had really, really thick, strong neck muscles and really, really thick, strong shoulder and leg muscles, especially in the front. So they hunted a little bit differently. They wouldn't have chased. They didn't have a long tail, so they couldn't chase as much as, as uh, extant or living cats do today. Um, but they would have ambushed, so they would have attacked their prey and they would have used these huge teeth in some way to help them take down their prey. Now, there are a lot of theories about these teeth um, because they're actually so long and actually pretty fragile. Most scientists today believe that they would have used their body to hold down their prey so that they could use these teeth so that they didn't, they didn't risk getting these teeth broken. So they would have hunted a little bit differently from how our, our cats today hunt. So Smilodon was a pretty successful hunter and quite a successful species. The genus Smilodon is in North and South America from about 1.5 million years ago until Smilodon fatalis, that species goes extinct 10,000 years ago. So that is the last of the saber tooth cats. So I hope you enjoyed learning about this amazing fossil cat species. For your take home activity, I want you to make yourself a Smilodon, make yourself a saber tooth cat using whatever you have at home. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for listening and really, really thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.